The marketing highlight and evasion that will be discussed in this presentation is Coca-Cola's most recent campaign, Taste the Feeling. Coca-Cola started out as a single product and has now turned itself into a brand with a whole range of products to suit taste and presence. The Taste the Feeling campaign brings to life senses that you use while drinking a Coke by merging two into one experience and making every moment supposedly more special to the consumer. This presentation will discuss the background as well as how innovative the campaign itself is and how it has effectively used marketing principles such as segmentation, targeting and positioning to promote the product. When looking at the Taste the Feeling campaign today as a group, myself, Kinesi, Josephina, Rachel and Sebastian have analysed the way that Coca-Cola have used innovation, segmentation, targeting and positioning to effectively promote their product. The campaign alone is different to others with the use of a catchphrase song by Conrad Sewell and Avicii to promote Coca-Cola's taste of feeling. Not only has Coke signed some of the world's famous artists, but has also made a complete interactive website which you can share your feelings when drinking a Coke through GIFs, a new, fun and simple way to personally promote your experience. In the Taste the Feeling campaign, Coca-Cola have created a one-brand trademark with the use of one-line sentences that provide an understanding that nothing is going to bring you down, quoting Lyric. Coca-Cola has a history of being innovative with their campaign from Share a Coke to Open Happiness with the use of universal storytelling throughout their adverts. Known for its continuous, ever-evolving brand, Coca-Cola creates relevance towards the audience, culture, and the time in terms of content and context. First starting in 1886 with its tagline, Delicious and Refreshing, Coca-Cola soon became an iconic brand worldwide, providing an illusion of quality experience and taste that has successfully proven itself throughout its years. Throughout this presentation, Coca-Cola's Taste the Feeling campaign will be elaborated discussing how innovation, segmentation and targeting is performed within the brand itself and how it is used effectively in the marketing industry. The first aspect being covered in this presentation is innovation and how Coca-Cola's taste of feeling is innovative. According to Solomon, innovation from a marketing perspective is anything that is perceived as being completely new or different to anything that has previously existed. For example, the way that Coca-Cola is being innovative with their campaign, Taste of Feeling, is that they are using different techniques to what has been previously used and consumers have not been targeted in this way before. It is evident that Coca-Cola have in no way changed their product, but just modified the techniques that they use to market their product so they have been continuously innovative by marketing the same product but using different techniques. Using the internet and social media platform to be able to connect with their customers, they have done this before with the Share Coke campaign. However, they have now used a different platform in comparison and have made an interactive website where you can share the feeling you get when having a Coke through a GIF. Through the advert of Taste the Feeling campaign, Coke designed it in a more personal and simple visual with the gathering of people, friends and family coming together in certain situations that consumers are familiar with to help engage the audience of all ages in the illusion that the beverage creates experience and feeling as well as quality in taste. Segmentation is the second element that will be discussed. According to Solomon, segmentation is the process of dividing a large market into small pieces based on one or more meaningful shared characteristics. 
Segmentation is divided into four main areas, and those areas are geographic, demographic, psychographic, and behavioral segmentation. Geographic segmentation is segmenting the market based on geographic variables such as the suburb, climate, region, and country. Demographic segmentation is the division of the market by measurable variables such as age, gender, family structure, income, race, and ethnicity. Demographic segmentation is part of segmenting the market based on the generation they were born in. Psychographic data segments the market based on shared activities, their interests and their opinion, usually and in most cases demographics, are associated with such as age and gender. Behaviour segmentation divided the market based on the way they act or how they feel about a certain good or services and the way they find the good or service useful. The marketing strategy used by Coca-Cola is quite broad as it isn't specifically targeting a certain segment because it is a one brand strategy and targets all products with a single campaign. In general, most consumers are aged between 15 and 30 years, so the segment age group that Coca-Cola would target with Taste of Feeling campaign would be in the age group, however, that is not to say consumers outside that group would not be affected by the campaign. Coca-Cola's idea for the Taste of Feeling campaign was to extend the global equity and the iconic appeal to target internationally because Coca-Cola is a familiar product worldwide. Lastly, targeting and positioning are two key elements beneath segmentation that is used within the campaign. Targeting is known as the market segment where a marketing organisation focuses its marketing plan and effort, whereas positioning is the development of a market strategy aimed at influencing how a particular market segment perceives its good or services in comparison with its competitors. The Taste the Feeling campaign is driven to communicate and target all, which means it is seen as an undifferentiated product. Through data collection, several points were found. As said before, the consumers found were from the ages of 15 to 30 years of age, representing 40% as the consumers. Through partnership with major businesses such as McDonald's, it is positioning consumers to the product, leaving out its main competitors such as Pepsi from receiving recognition through McDonald's. Data also provided evidence that the gender ratio of consuming the product was 50-50, both male and female. Through its successful use of advertisement, Coca-Cola is known for its innovation as well as recognising and providing a solution to the need for consumers. The product has continuously brought together new ideas such as Coke Zero, Diet Coke, Vanilla Coke and Light Coke, which is under the brand Coca-Cola. This can be seen as a one brand strategy. Chief Marketing Officer Marcos de Quinto says that the new one brand approach will share the equity across all the trademark products, reinforcing their commitment to offer consumers choice with more clarity. It is evident that Coca-Cola itself is known to be the top of mind awareness, therefore being seen as a market leader. The following perceptual maps are to identify how consumers view competitive products with Coca-Cola. The first map views how consumers compare the product through the fun and quantity of sugar, whereas the second map shows the comparison with the use of a caffeine and sugar. This shows that Coca-Cola products alone has successfully positioned and targeted its prime audience through its campaign that promotes lifestyle through a beverage. To conclude, it is evident that Coca-Cola's Taste the Feeling campaign is an innovative marketing product that has effectively adapted certain marketing principles such as segmentation, targeting and positioning to enhance the success it has received throughout the years and in present. <laughs>